my legion of little goblins. I did not mean to select that person. And welcome back to my Sunday night vlog. It has been a while since I've done one of these. And I realized that if I if there's like nothing really to do we really to report or whatever weekly, then I can at least try to do one at least once a month. Oh. Especially now because we have 25 subscribers. I know that's not a lot in the grand scheme of things, but it is a nice little milestone that should be celebrated. From here, it'll be like, okay, now let's try for 50. Let's try for 100. Let's try for 500. Then 1,000. Then 5,000. Then 10,000. You know, like milestones. Even small ones should be celebrated. So, let me think. Ah, yes. We have two subscribers to give a sh little shout out to. For sub now, I should point out, these are only sub. I, I can only see subscribers whose subscriptions are made public. So, if you don't see your name, it's because I didn't see your name. And, let's see. We have Spariachi and Parker Laws. Thank you for the subscriptions, you two. So, I'm assuming y'all will want to hear about the little camping trip I went on. We went to this place called Loud Thunder Par or Park. And we had like, and we got into one of the horse corral, into the horse corral campground. I forgot to talk to this guy. There is dancing in the streets. And I'm a wine. I was supposed to be like home How all around this you, time, friend? maybe a little later on. <laughs> Today, but um. I ended up having to- my mom and I ended up having to come home yesterday, instead. I should've known Greetings, something traveler. was a-coming. <laughs> Sorry, my chair's kinda squeaky. So... So we, it was, and it was a beautiful day, but the air was pretty still, which really, truly, seriously should have been my first alarm bell, I guess. I don't know. So we get there, we get all set up. Once everything's assembled, we got to, to lunch, found a little card store next to like this place called Diamond Dave's. And I had a, a really good burger. I know, I'm like so predictable. Oh wait, you guys don't really know. Okay, one of my favorite foods is cheeseburgers. And fries. But today I decided I was gonna get like uh, the... But you know, I, and I'm not really much one for, you know, Can much else on my cheeseburger. Moment? Aside from... Aside from... The cheese, maybe some pickles, maybe some mustard and mayo. But today I decided to try their, um, but that, but on Friday I decided to try their Mexican burger. Cheese wasn't really spicy, but I did have to remove some of the jalapenos. Because they were in adding some flavor that I wasn't really because it was a bit of a flavor that I didn't really care for and it had some onion rings on it that was like always put fried onion rings on your burgers trust me it works it's great and that's probably one of the few times I will eat onion ring have onions on my burgers is if they're fried mozzarella I got some mozzarella sticks on the side of that, though, too. In all honesty, I probably should have gotten in the side of onion rings, too. Instead, 
But those were some good mozzarella sticks. So we come back. It's hot. I'm just like, I don't want to be out here. So I try to go try to do some drawing inside of my tent. I have an air mattress, so so you know, I'm not really uncomfortable. I'm probably gonna take my air mattress on vacations where I'm not camping either, in case I have to share a bed with someone. I would rather have an air mattress than than share my bed with someone. Hello there. But, you know, it's it's too hot. I'm like, ugh, whatever. Go outside, go out, sit in my camping chair with my, with, with my book. I have a, I have a book called, <sighs> the book that Kiki's Delivery Service is based on. Yeah, if you, if you like the movie Kiki's Delivery Service, there is a book. Kinda like the movie a lot better. Not gonna lie. But, you know, there, there's some cute stuff with, up in there. Kiki's relationship with Tombo isn't as... complex, I think the word is. But, you know... I'm not when I am not a sun person. I'm I, I like cloudy days where it's cooler out. Finally, I just let and I noticed that they're that close to the tree line. I'm guessing it was west, the western side of our camp, close to the tree line. It was really shady, so I just picked up my chair, planted my and planted my ass down there with my book. And of course, my mom, her friend, who we'll call C, and her son, and C's son M, notice and like, yeah, that's actually a good idea. Let's move into the shade. So of course, I finish reading the book, go to put it in my backpack. Stupid me didn't bring another book. Hello, friend. Could you help me with something? Where is that book? I put it on the bed down here. Fuck. Well, forget Greetings, the book. It, it's not important. It's War of the Spark Forsaken, so who the fuck cares? Anyway, where was I? And you know, by this no, and thankfully by this point, what is it? The sun had you know sort of started sinking, and so the table by the fire pit was now in the sh shade. So I took my so I took my bet my ass to the to the picnic table. wasn't very comfortable to be fair. And I started working on a drawing. I don't know who the fuck I was drawing. Actually, I probably find out who if I was drawing someone. Oh no, I see. I was doing a few pictures of my one of my Magic the Gathering OCs with Siri. Sorry, my phone just fell. I was practicing a few different versions of Wisteria, one of my one of, who is one of my OCs. For those of you who don't know, Wisteria is a mm, is a magical unicorn girl. Like she's Will got the legs of a, a unicorn. Of time, she's friend? got a a crystal horn cut spiraling out of her forehead. She's got horse ears, long flowing hair, and a horse tail. 
And pretty much the rest of her is very... Human, elven looking. She's got a bit of a longer face. She's got a bit of a longer face and a um, thicker, rounder nose. And some nice thick lips. Because, you know, when drawing different characters, you you, you try to... When, when you're on, like, um, sort of furry type esque characters, you're just... You try to bring some of those animal traits into their into the more human looking variety. Or like the half blood variety. But I digress. Back to my to the camping trip and oh boy what a disaster that was. Eventually though, I do retreat into my tent to, you know, listen to some music on my phone. Do some more drawing. At this point, I'm just doing random doodles because, you know, I'm like, I'm not in a very comfortable position and it's getting darker. So, you know, naturally I want to get, want to use one of the lanterns to see what I'm doing better. And, you know, it's like round nine, everyone starts sort of turning in. Um, C turns on down Periscope, and at first my mom and I had no idea what the hell she was even watching. And then it was just like, I want a man with a tattoo on his dick, and I'm like, she's watching down Periscope. <laughs> that fucking, that fucking line. Down Periscope's a great comedy. So, you know, the night goes on, movie ends. Getting closer, it's like somewhere between 10.30 and 11. I can't sleep. I hear someone shuffling around the camp. Now, my mom's on one side, is on like the far su western side of the tent. And Carly's in between, is in between her. C is between me and my mom. And finally, I just, and I'm just like, uh, Carly? Carly? Because, <laughs> you know, when it comes to like a scary situation, yeah, I kind of want C on my side, not gonna lie. And she assures me that it's just her kid, you know, shuffling around. Eventually, I, you know, gotta go to the bathroom. And holy fuck these breastrooms! They are appalling. You go in, and immediately... As soon as you're, like, in sight, you can, like, see into the first stall because these stalls, there's three stalls. Not a single one of them has a door. Thankfully, the, do the door into the bathroom swings inward, so no one can really see you for you. But as soon as that door is closed and someone's looking, they're really going to see you and it's going to be like, Oh my god! Fucking chair atrocious. It's a nightmare. I can't. Like, who dis made the decisions for this bathroom? It wasn't even fucking clean and there were no showers either. And it gets worse. Like, at least the light's on all the time. But, you know, earlier that day when I used the restroom, it was, I was like, I was seeing which, okay, which of these, I picked the one to, like, my, on the right, and the water comes out black and gray and dingy, and I'm like, ew, gross, no! I'm gonna, oh my god, all my hand sanitizer is gonna go out the fucking window, door, window now. I'm not leaving with a single thing of hand sanitizer. Thankfully, the other sink is fine. Yes. But, you know, at the same time, I'm just thinking, this is fine. It's fine. This is fine. It's not fine. <laughs> but, yeah, I come back to camp, like, like around 11-ish, and I see Magnus. God damn it. I see M walking around the camp. Now, in the past, M and I, we... We're not really the sort to get along. 
you, you could say that we're very water and oil at this point. But, you know, it's like neither of us can sleep because, you know, there's animals in the brush. And every little sound is just ma putting me on edge. Now, I've been awake since the... I've been awake since probably five in the morning. So, and I haven't had a, a nap. So you would think that I'd probably be out cold, like my mom. No. So, Magna, so him and I, we just start talking about, about Fallout and Skyrim. Unless that was the conversation we had in the afternoon. Eventually, M finally retreats to his tent. I retreat to the tent for a little bit until I have to go to the restroom again, which was probably around midnight, I want to say. And then, you know, went back to the tent, laid down for a little bit. I got maybe a moment of sleep before I had to go again. This time, it was like 2.50ish. Go to the restroom, come back to camp, and I just sit down. And instead of going into the tent, I just sit in my freaking camping chair because by now, the light, the thunder and lightning has started. And you know, and I just decide, I'll just watch the show like a dumbass because that's just how I am. And you know, I'm just like, I'm enjoying the, the fresh, the cool air. I'm enjoying the show. The lightning bugs are just well, twinkling and I'm it's making friends. the whole area look really sparkly and pretty. Finally, it's there. A brief rain comes. I just sit out and enjoy it because you know this cool rain is nice and refreshing. Then a stronger, heavier rain comes, and. I just had a bit of a sense that, uh, okay, this for this rain is not is gonna be a lot worse. So I had to make a I had to make a decision. Do I risk waking my mom and C up, uh, rushing to get into the tent, or do I just go go sit in my mom's car and wait for and just like sort of wait it out? I chose the car naturally. So I'm just like sitting there on, or on my phone drinking some water because hydration is very important when you're camping and hiking and doing any sort of outdoor activity. But this rain, it would not let up. And at some point, I don't know how I missed it because I was seeing pretty good. Like I could, I was even able to see M and he was wearing black, all black. But you know, C was just, was getting really fucking nervous. Like, she, like she's thinking, okay, I'm safe on this rubber air mattress. I'm fine, but you know, the thunder finally spoke fucking spooked her out of the out of the big family tent and and she saw that the top of M's t the, like the Greetings, rain friend. cover for M's tent had basically f just kind of yoinked itself off which you know is really fucking scary I don't want to ride Callista and so he, and because it's now pouring, his tent is getting flooded. So C rushes to her car, unlocks it, gets it, gets things set up, and then she calls out to her son to come join her in the car, and he does so happily. I don't blame her. And the whole fucking time, there's water and rain getting into the big family tent where my mom still is. And she is sleeping 
all the These way fucking through it. Indeed. Which, you know, C Come does not, it's just like, what the fuck is she not doing? Thing is, is that, um, at this point, mm -hmm. that, you know, between 10.30 that night, No, from 12 o'clock noon on Thursday to 10 o'clock Friday night, my mother had not slept at all. So she was dead to the world. She didn't care. She didn't know anything, what was going on. And here I am sitting in the car waiting for like the rain to at least let up a bit so I could go run run into the bathroom again. I have a weak bladder. So, so like two, two and a half hours is like my limit. Yes, I know I should see a doctor. But that's not the point. The point is this rain was not stopping. There were small breaks when it would, like, lighten up a bit, but, you know, we were... It was... It wasn't gonna stop. Finally, around 5 a.m., my mom messages me, realizes she's alone in her tent, and messages me, like, Are you in the car? I'm like, yeah. Ask... When I finally, and at this point, it's getting light, so I can actually see the problems get plaguing M's tent. And I asked if he was in there with, with my mom. And I asked my mom, is M in there with you and C? And she's like, no. And I was like, okay, then he must be in C's car then. Little did I know that C was also in her car. And then my mom just like kind of went back to sleep. Around six, six ish, six ish, I guess. I, w I saw that um, C was. I decided to go check in C's car and see if. See if M was there, and I was surprised to find C awake and just like, and we just exchanged, and we were chatting. In, I went to the restroom again. As in, she's uh, like, and we just like, and then as I'm coming back and C is on her way to the restroom, I saw that I saw a park ranger just putting up us, putting up a notice over one of the signs that said, "All trails are now closed," because it had been raining that bad. And that was the point where I was just like. Yeah, we're leaving. We're going home. It was- it took a little while longer for my mom to wake up, but when she did, we talked- She, C, and service. I all talked, and we decided we're just gonna pa we're gonna pack a- okay. We decided we're gonna go get some breakfast. Then we're gonna come back, hopefully come back. By then there should be a break in the weather. We're gonna break camp. And we're gonna just go home. Because there was no way in hell that we were gonna go kayaking that day. Cause you know, by the time cause we left to get breakfast around 8.30ish, and there was still thunder. So naturally the So naturally we either the kayaking was gonna be delayed or it was gonna be like or it was just not gonna straight up happen. I don't know what what the other kayakers that had come that weekend did, but did yesterday. But, you know, it's beautiful today, so I'm assuming that, you know, there's kayaking going on right now. We just couldn't say for, to for today because my mom has work tonight. So we go to this place called QC Coffee and Pancake House. My mom and C had like had had bis biscuits and gravy. I don't even. Remember. M had like these had this strawberry 
these strawberry pancakes looked really pretty. I had myself like, and what those three they had like they had coffee. I don't think twelve year olds should be having coffee. And me, I had a cup of hot cocoa because I needed something to warm. Because how can I be of know, service? Be like before we were getting. Before we were like, before we left, I had done a, I had pa tried to pack up and arrange, mom, my mom's car, so because, I wanted us to be, I wanted, what can I do for breaking you? camp to be, as easy as possible. And I had Greetings, a friend. country fried steak and some scrambled eggs, with some hash browns on the side. These and hash brown were they were okay. Greetings to Needed you. Needed a lot lot more salt and pepper though. But damn, that steak. That fried steak and Greetings. The fried steak and the um and the country gravy they put on it. Oh that was so good. Like and their country gravy. Makes mine like the cheap wallpaper paste. If I could get mine that fucking flavorful, that would just be like the best day ever for me. Cause, you know, I feel, cause I'm just like, that would just, just put that on my homemade biscuits. Perfection. I should have taken my mom's portion of frick, of biscuits and gravy. So we come back, break camp. We see that the other two groups that had been, that were in the campgrounds with us had fucked off at the, in that time. They probably wondered if we had abandoned our stuff or something. I don't know. But, you know, they had wisely fucked off. And now it was our turn. Broke camp. Made sure everyone's stuff got was put where it needed to be. Except for a few things. Most, more specifically, a can of Easy Cheese. To which I, of course, said, "My now, bitch." And I made a pretty hard decision. Now, I know it's recommended that you kind of replace your bedding every once in a while, but there was this comforter. It was pink with some with a light pink polka dot pattern on one side. And it was white with some black filigree on the other side. And this was basically I had had this comforter for for twelve fucking years now. Twelve years. And yes, it was falling apart. It had rips, it had holes, some of it mended, some of it it not I'm not. And you know, I had made a decision earlier that a summer that okay yeah this is probably gonna be the year I get rid of it preferably without preferably after I got a nice new comforter is that you know I really gotta let my mom really need to stop letting my mom talk me into like oh but that was so boring but you know so as my mom and I were leaving we I threw my old comforter into the dumpster because you know it, it had gotten wet and if I ha and if I tried to wash it which I was planning on doing when I got home well it would have fallen apart even more basically so I made the hard decision to get rid of it which is sad because you know I I, that was 
I'd have that comforter for... Stay a moment. <laughs> so I've had that comfort for 12 years. I've had it for as long as I've lived in the house I, I currently live in. It was my first comfort, first new comforter for my first new bed. Queen sized. And now it's gone. So yeah, that was a bit heartbreaking. I mean, for some, it's probably, oh, it's just a blanket, but you know, it's like, I've had this for 12 years, I ha have a bit of an attachment to it. it. Basically, at this point, it was comfort, it was a comfortable, it was a comfortable blanket. But you know, you, we eventually have to get rid of these sort, some of these th sorts of things. And you know, it's Gondo like needs your aid. It, it's not so bad. I, I got my Doctor Who fleet I got a Doctor Who fleece blanket and uh I got one of those um no sew blankets I can just use in the meantime. So we um And on the way home, my mom and I, we decided to go to Target, see if we can, you know, find, find a new comforter, but they had, like, nothing. What do you need? Like, I was really kind of disappointed by their, by their, um, selection of comforters. Like, everything was either ugly or, or patterns were either ugly or the colors were, or the solid colors were, like, dull and uninteresting and... What can I do for you? You know, it's like, ah, this dusty moth is kind of nice. It feels pretty good. My mom's like, oh, but that's boring. You're going to get sick of it real fast. Like, fine. You? Even though it's like 30 bucks. We ended up going to Marshall's. I was all, which made my mom happy, but we were in you? there for an hour. And by the end, my feet and ankles were just like in a lot of fucking pain. And I'm what just can thinking, I do for you? Fucking kill me already. But again, like, nothing appealed to me. Like, all the patterns were ugly, were bore, and the solid colors were boring. Even though there was this, another dusty mob that felt way softer and more comfortable, but, These but are again, I was indeed. convinced that that is so boring, you're gonna hate it after a week. I really got to learn to stop listening to my mom's opinion on certain things because now I don't have a comfor comforter. I just have two blankets while, and while I love those blankets, you know, I want a big soft comforter. That's what I want. A big soft comforter. So hopefully we're gonna just go to Walmart soon and see if we can find something. Like, again, I don't want, I like, I don't care if the solid color is boring. I just want a fucking comforter. Hello there. I don't care if the, the color is, if the solid color is boring. I, but I, and, but, and I'm just like, looking at these patterned ones and I'm just thinking these fucking patterns are so ugly. I hate them. There was a couple of Kate Spade ones. But the problem with those are is that the colors were way, way off. The colors did not reflect what the picture looked like and the picture was really nice and I was like, oh, if only you looked more like the picture, I'd consider you. I actually have like a makeup, a little makeup bag that I use as a pencil bag from Kate Spade, and I love that shit. Ultimately, though, I left indeed. with some pistachio macarons. And this big container of sour rainbow ropes.
And a little box with a little rum cake. That was actually really good. Hmm. I also got a new purse and a new wallet. Really pretty floral pattern with some Greetings, friend. with a dusty mauve, some indigo, and some silver Their floral pattern. Really great color combination. I love it. And the purse is like a oh, it's like this snakeskin pattern, and it and the colors are on it are just so pretty. So, how may I help you, friend? We come back. I bring mine in and her some of the stuff in, mostly my backpack, my my purses, the things we got at Marshalls, my mom's clothes. And after resting just a few minutes, These we are were troublesome bold. times indeed. I was just like, "Well, fuck this, fuck that, fuck everything." I don't care. I'm going to bed. And so, I went upstairs, slept for 11 hours, and then went about my regular chores. And yeah, that was pretty much the, the weekend. Half good, half bad. Lots of disasters. And we didn't even get to go kayaking, so that was nice. I wanted to go kayaking. Well, that's all for now. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and share this video with someone who might enjoy the series. I'm Gamer Dragon, and I'll see you tomorrow where we will continue Thief. Bye!